everyone. The heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's River Plate versus Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield, but will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Abdoulaye Dukure plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A game that on paper has a lot going for it. Everton get the proceedings underway. But attacking possibilities. Vitali Mikolenko. And it might be. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Alvarez well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout what are you expecting to see from him Stuart well it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player he can go past defenders with ease he can play in tight areas and he has that bit of well no real accuracy and easy for the keeper Gomez now what can they do from here and a useful cross just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender oh, couldn't quite find his teammate still on level terms moving the ball nicely Casco it's with Fernandez. A glorious chance. Oh, blocked it. A terrific pass. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Enzo Perez. Not showing good defensive judgment. Donny van der Beek. Van der Beek. Calvert Lewin. Oh, moving it nicely. Van der Beek. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. A 
a bad pass it was. Richarlison. And a throw in it's going to be. De La Cruz. Martinez on the ball. Richarlison. Donny van der Beek. And back with Gordon. Can he finish? Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And able to get a body in the way. Well, had that gone in, they would be in complete control of this game. As it is, they're still going to be a bit nervy. Excellent ball over the top. Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Well, they've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve, and quickly. He must finish! Determined defending! Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How? about that well at least he hit the target but he should really beat the keeper from there they should be level now and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game well high marks for Donny van der Beek based on his first half display what did you make of him well it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad obviously he got his goal to put them in front but he's looked lively throughout too hopefully we see more of him in the second half The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Enzo Perez. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Couldn't quite hang on. And in the end, no damage done. Calvert-Lewin. Townsend, can he take the chance? And it's there for him. What a block! Covert Lewin, Richarlison, one block after another. And the emphasis is on creativity. Nicolas de la Cruz firing it in. Terrific block. Alan on the ball Coleman perfectly positioned to take it away well we have 30 minutes to go Nicolas de la Cruz oh a smart stop well the crowd are doing their bit can they find the equaliser here? They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Delivering it. And under pressure, not on the target.
Now, what can they do from here? But really sticking to their task defensively. Lovely ball over the top. Well, it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Richarlison. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? And the cross is very much on. But strong defending. Now the delivery, not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Milton Casco, oh great vision. Promising possession this. Cross fired over, really classy goalkeeping. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And space to exploit, maybe. And Ali's ready. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Here it is now, a substitution. The corner played into the box. And it's come off the keeper. Well, they can bring it out now. Milton Casco. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Casco. Options in the centre. Thumps clear. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Richarlison. And here's Alan. They might be able to get in now. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. So the referee blows for full time and it's an Everton success story whatever way you look at it three points for the Toffees what did you think of their performance well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well-earned victory and a guiding role played by Donny van der Beek sensational performance from him on all levels
Stuart, how would you sum up what we saw? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.